All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to find the mean and the standard deviation using several different calculators, the TI-84, the TI-83, the TI-30X2, um, or that can be the B or the S to my knowledge, the TI-30XS multi-view and the TI-34 multi-view. Here's the TI-84, uh, here is the TI-83, and the TI-30X2B, I think the 2S will work pretty much the same way. Sorry, I do not have an emulator for these, so this is not going to be as clear, but hopefully you can follow along with that. And then, like I said, too, we're also going to look at the TI-30XS multi-view. This is the TI-34 multi-view, but then we're going to come back and look at the ti 30 XS multi-view as well. So, you know, fast forward to the particular calculator that you have. Um, whichever one you see up here on the screen is going to be the one that I will be covering in that part of the video. And we'll just go in order here. So the TI-84, we have some exam grades of 10 students. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We want to find the mean and the standard deviation of the grades. On the TI-84, this works very similar to the TI-83. Um, with the exception of one thing, depending on if your calculator has been updated. But I'm going to press Stat, I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to type in these data, or these pieces of raw data, into L1. So um, you type them in, and you press Enter after each one that you type in. So 75, Enter, 87, Enter, and I'm just going to roll through these. Now you may notice here that uh, some things do get repeated. We can handle that different ways, but for now I'm just gonna roll with it uh, the way I have it. So 75, just double checking everything. 75, 87, 66, 85, 87, 90, 79, 90, 97, 71. All right, so we got the data typed in. Once you have it typed in, you go over to, uh, let's quit. So I'm gonna go to second mode to get back to my home screen. I'm gonna press stat, I'm gonna go over to calc, and this is one variable statistics. I'm gonna press enter on that. List, we've typed everything in L1. Frequency list, I'm not gonna cover that in this video. We just go straight to calculate. And here's our class average, 82.7. Uh, this is your sample standard deviation, the 9.67298644. And here's your population standard deviation. There is other information listed here, but for now I want to talk about the mean and the standard deviation. So I'm going to leave that up here on this calculator screen and we're going to see if this stuff matches up. Here's our average. Here's our sample standard deviation, the SX. And then this one down here, your population standard deviation is this one right here. So depending on which one you're looking for. So that's the TI-84. Now let's go to the TI-83. Like I said, it's somewhat similar because the buttons are very similar on these calculators. So I'm gonna press the stat button. I'm gonna to go to edit, just like I did a moment ago on the TI-84. And notice your L1 is pretty similar here as well. So I'm gonna type in those grades again, 75, 87, 66, 85, 87. Again, I'm sorry about the quality here. 90, 79, 90, 97, and 71. And again, it's always good to go back and double check. So going backwards, 71, 97, 90, 79, 90, 87, 85, 66, 87, 75. All right, good. So let's quit. Let's go back to the home screen. So I'm going to press second mode, go back to stat, go over to calc. And here's where it's going to be a little bit different on the older TI-83s. When I press enter, it doesn't bring up that same information that the 84 brought up a moment ago. As long as you typed everything in L1, you can just go ahead and press enter right now. And notice we do have those same numbers popping up that we had on the 84. So sliding this over here, notice that's a 82.7, it matches that. Here's our sample standard deviation, notice it's the same numbers. And here's our population standard deviation, which matches the TI-84 as well. So that's the TI-84 and the TI-83. Um, now let's go to, what's next, the TI-30X2. So that's this calculator right here. All right, I'm just going to uh, bring this a little bit closer, so maybe it's a little bit clearer using an old document camera. All right, so on this calculator, a little bit different to get things to work. What we're looking for in the bottom right-hand corner is we're looking for the word, I think it's um, stat, to pop up down here. 
So what we have to do is we have to actually put the calculator into uh, the stat mode. To do that, we got a stat word right above this word data. We got that stat. So if we press second and we press data, um, we want to do one variable. So I'm going to press enter on that. And notice once we do that, uh, by, when I say enter, I'm pressing equals, by the way. Um, notice the stat word does pop up at the bottom of the screen. Now we can type in the data that we have. So I'm going to press the data button without pressing second. And it's going to ask for x1. Basically, we want to type in these values here. And after each one we type, we want to press down. So I'm going to type in this 75. I'm going to go down. And for the FRQ for now, just learning how to do this, let's leave all of these at 1. This does have a purpose, but for right now, I just want to show you how to get everything typed in. So I'm going to press down again to skip over FRQ, and it's going to take me to x2. So I'm going to type in the 87, which is that second grade that I have right there. I'm going to press down twice to skip over that FRQ, and it's going to take me to X3. So I'm going to type in the 66, skip down to X4, which is the 85, and keep on going. Uh, that's the number 6. Which one is that? Uh, which one did I just do? Okay, 85, okay, uh, 87, then I'm going down to the 90, then I have the 79. Then I have another 90, then I have a 97, and then I have a 71. Now, you can always go back and scroll up and check through your data. I'm just pressing the up button, but I'm, I'm pretty sure hopefully everything's okay. Once you have all the data typed in, we can press the stat var to get our statistics. So I'm going to press stat var. It says calc, and now the x bar is going to be our average. So if we move over 82.7, that's the same thing we got a moment ago. Here's our sample standard deviation, which did match the TI-84 and the TI-83. And then we also have the population standard deviation there as well, which did match everything we've done. So um, we're getting the same answers from three different calculators. Now let's go to the emulator for the TI-30XS multi-view, which is what we have right here. What we want to do on this one is the following. I'll tell you what, let me get this uh, backdrop off of... The document camera. Alright, so TI-30XS multi-view. Press the data button. That's all you have to do to start off here and it's going to take you straight to your list. Now, if you have some stuff in your list, which you see that I do have some things here, um, we can just, let me see if I can get, get rid of all of it at one time. Um, I don't think so. Okay, clear. Let me see. Data. I'll tell you what, if we just delete, that's what we can do. We can just delete whatever we had in there inside of L1. There probably is a way to clear that list, but nonetheless, here we go. L1, there's nothing typed in here, so let's start typing these grades in. 75. I wonder if I can use my keyboard. 87. Cool. All right, pressing enter on that last one. I'm going to scroll back up, just double checking. Or right, I'll tell you what, okay, if we get a different answer, that means I typed something in wrong because we've already seen the same answer three times. How do we get our statistics? How do we get the mean and the standard deviation? We have to do the stat, which is right above data. So I'm going to press second and I'm going to press data. One variable stats, press enter on that. And let's see, okay, L1 was where I had my data entered in. Uh, FRQ, leave it alone for right now. I'm going to go down to calc. Press enter, and now notice our average, so we did type it in right, 82.7, that's the X bar. Here's our sample standard deviation, which is matching, I'm um, just double checking back at everything, yes that does match, and here is our population standard deviation right there. So everything's looking good for that one. And last but not least, the TI-34 multi-view. So here, almost identical to the one we just did. The TI-34 multi-view and the TI-30XS multi-view are pretty much the same. We press the data button. Uh, this list is already clear, so let's type in those grades. All right. So make sure you press enter after that last one. Even though it says we're on item number 11, I should have mentioned this sooner, I don't have anything typed in there. So there are 10 pieces of data. And just like on the TI-30XS multi-view, we have to go to the stats. I'm going to press second. I'm going to press data. One variable stats. Press enter. This looks just like the TI-30X 
S multi view. I'm going to go down to calc. And notice our average, 82.7. That's our mean. This is our sample standard deviation. And this is our population standard deviation. So we're getting the same answer from how many calculators? One, two, three, four, five different calculators. Um, but yeah, there you have it. That's how you can quickly get the mean and the standard deviation from several of the TI scientific and graphing calculators. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.